Sup, YouTubes? I've been working on something. Wanna show ya. Wanna show ya what I've been doing. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so this is, I wanna do handstands. I've been trying to do handstands and I keep falling doing the handstands, but I got an idea. I'm gonna strap a little fan on my feet and it's gonna blow me to keep me upright, okay? If it's powerful enough, I might fly around. So here we go. So first, I'm just gonna model myself as a piece of wood. Why not? So I lay down next to the wood. I'm like, well, let me get a good side first. I wanna make sure it looks good here. Now I lay down and what I do is put my hands above my head because that's what position I'll be in when I get a handstand here. I got my mom's out here. She's helping me. We chop into wood. We're having a good time out here. So I cut the bottom. I tried to sand it, but nah. Then I tried to cut it by hand, but nah. Then I use a hacksaw thing or a jigsaw and I'm like, boom. And it's a lot faster. So I'm trying to cut the bottom into a wedge shape. That way it has to balance when it stands up right, right? Then I got a new toy. Got a 3D printer because I sold my old one. And I'm trying to print some propellers on here because I need those fans to blow my feet, right? So I'm printing some fans in flexible filament. Now check this out. This is pretty sick. When it spins up. <laughs> oh no! The centrifugal force, which is a fictitious force by the way, that makes the rubber like pull out to the, to the edges and you can see it gets bigger and bigger. It is crazy, but it's not crazy enough. Like they don't have enough thrust and I'm expecting them to blow up when they're strapped to my legs. So I don't want to do that. So I got these stronger fans from Amazon and they have a little duct around them. It makes them more thrusty, but they're less efficient, but that's okay. So then I printed this mount. It took like six hours to print, but it's all out of that flexible rubbery filament. So it should absorb a lot of vibrations from the motors. And what's cool is I can stack the mounts one on top of each other. So all that's left is this balancing chip, an MPU 6050 from my spider robot. I just slapped that on the board. And the folks at Elegoo were kind enough to send me this electronics kit, which has this Arduino Uno clone. And so I use that as the brains of the whole operation here. And I hold that on with the rubber band, you know. And here we are, we got everything. Batteries, motor controllers, motors, Arduino. Plug that in, put the codes. Upload. So this is some data coming off of the sensor. Let's fire it up. Am I holding it? Am I holding it with my hand? You can't tell. You can't tell. No, I'm not holding it with my hand. I'm not gonna trick you guys, you crazy. Okay, so how does this all ask? I hear you asking. What? How does this all work? I hear you asking. Yes, you, don't be shy. So I use something called a PID loop to control this. Basically, I have a target angle and the actual angle of the board. If I don't put any kind of corrective force, the thing will just fall over. Wow. But if I put some corrective force proportional to the error, you can see P is a thousand there. I get these oscillations because the thing builds up speed and then goes back and forth. And my, my board just oscillates out of control immediately. So finally I have to add some damping term, which is D, and that's the derivative of the error and that kind of slows things down, almost like friction. So I use the exact same idea. You can see it right here in the code on the board. All right, let's go outside and play.
at this moment, my mom saw what I was doing and started questioning my sanity. Me and Bordy have a very good relationship. All right, so if I'm crazy enough to continue this project, in the next video, I'm gonna do a bunch of math and physics to figure out if it's feasible to actually strap these on my legs and if they'll have enough force to keep me upright. So, you know, subscribe. <laughs> Smash the... Uh, I, Instagram. All right, thanks for watching.